Hello everyone, today I'm going to boil a pita. Now the first thing you might be asking is, why is the camera rotating? Why is everything spinning? I'm kind of dizzy because someone told me I should be using more camera angles. So that here we are, I'm using a lot of camera angles. But I'm feeling a bit, a bit dizzy, but that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Oh man. Oh. Oh my head. Oh sh. I. So anyways, today we are going to spoil a pizza. It might sound like a very bad idea for you. And to me, it also sounds like a very bad idea. However, we never know if it's truly bad unless we try it out. And as a food scientist, by the way, I'm a certified food scientist. I have a master degree on computer science. That qualifies me as a food scientist. Probably, I think so. <clears throat> so today we are going to scientifically experiment whether a boiled pizza is good. If it's good, I will have a good dinner to eat. If it's bad, we advance the boundary on science anyways. So that's a win-win situation for me and for the humanity. So that's pretty great. All right, without further ado, let's smash like and subscribe now. And then I will start boiling the pizza. Do it now. Okay, I'll boil the pizza now. This is the pizza that I'm going to boil today. A pepperoni personal pizza that is very small. It's only where's the dimension. It doesn't say it's dimension, but it's pretty small. How small is it actually is? You might be wondering. So let's compare with a toilet paper roll. It's actually as big as a toilet paper roll. I know this this stuff are very expensive now. I'm basically a millionaire with this and uh, I don't know if this qualifies me as a billionaire but anyways I got this gourmet toilet roll here you know what why am I talking about toilet rolls I have no idea I'm just waiting for the water to boil water when the water is boiling I add in the frozen pizza some cheese fell off but the marinara sauce somehow stayed on the pizza perfectly. After some water playing, I closed the lid and let it boil for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the boiled pizza is done. Hello, here's our boiled pizza. Here's our gourmet pizza soup, pizza water. I don't expect this to be edible, but why not try it anyways? This is my homemade hot sauce. It's got uh, chili oil, vinegar, and some soy sauce. So anyways, this pizza, from the looks, it's holding out pretty good. After 15 minutes in the boiling water, it holds up pretty good. And that's expected. Do you know that bagel is also boiled? I guess you don't. As you can see, the marinara somehow doesn't dissolve into the boiling water at all as you can see the marinara holds on to the pizza perfectly and the pepperoni somehow also sticks to the pizza pretty good all right it looks pretty appetizing actually it looks better than expected without further ado let's dig it in i'm going to first try out the part with more marinara sauce let's cut it Let's cut it this way. Let's place a pepperoni on there. Let's focus camera, focus. Here's what it looks like. Let's try it out.
Hmm. You know what? I expected this to be super bad. I, I expected this to be not edible. But after actually trying it, it actually tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty close to a steamed pizza. It still has the marinara flavor in there pretty well. You can still taste the pepperoni. You can still taste the marinara. You can taste all the flavors that you would expect from a pizza. The difference between this and a regular pizza is, is the texture. The texture is very very different. For a normal pizza, the texture is normally a bit crunchy, a bit flaky, you know, anything you expect from a baked pizza. But in this pizza, it tastes pretty close to a, not a bagel, but a Chinese buns. Yes, it tastes, the texture tastes exactly like Chinese buns. And I like it a lot, actually. So it's not crunchy, it's not crispy. Do not expect that. Expect it, expect it to be a bit soggy, but not very soggy. I know you wouldn't expect it, but it's not very soggy, as you would expect from a boiled pizza. Let's try it. another piece. You know what, it's genuinely very good. And yes, it's actually good. I'm not lying. I tried stir fry pizza before and that's horrible. I tried steamed pizza, that's great. I tried boiled pizza, it's pretty close to a steamed pizza. Let's say, I think the steamed pizza and the boiled pizza are very close. But the difference is, steamed pizza is more flavorful while boiled pizza, they are more risen. The dough are more fluffy, flavor-wise, tastes very close to an actual baked pizza. The only difference is the texture. And <clears throat> like the steamed pizza, I think boiling removes some of its greasiness, so it's not that greasy at all. I don't feel greasy eating this, but a baked one would be very greasy, very oily, as I promise you that would be the case. Let me try some more with the hot sauce. Dipping red, going in. Mm. You know what? Before I do this, I think this will be a horrible idea. It will totally ruin the pizza. But after actually trying it out, it's actually pretty good. That's much better than I expected. It might be worth it to do it every once in a while, even regularly, because it's actually tasting pretty good. After all, bagels are all boiled, right? So it makes total sense to boil a pizza. And the thing that's to my surprise the most is that the marinara somehow sticks onto the pizza. I don't know why it didn't dissolve into the water at all. It just stick on the pizza. And that's a great thing because all the pizza flavor remains in this boiled pizza. Didn't, it didn't go away with the water. That's great. That's great. After that, let's try the pizza soup. No, the pizza soup is not good. But the pizza itself is pretty good. So, at least we learned that today. Try this out at home if you want. It's actually pretty good. You bring something very new to the table. You, your family and friends will think this is a meme and you're joking around. But if you actually try it, it's actually pretty good. Trust me, I am a verified food scientist. So anyways, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe and smash like now so you can get more boiled pizza content. Next time I wouldn't be boiling the pizza. I would be doing something else or not pizza. I do all food. Sometimes it's real food. Yeah, let's put it this way. I'm going to see you next time.